Let's go to Washington, D.C., where everything is thought through and calm and peaceful. And talk to Christine. What's up, Christine? Hi. Thank you so much for having me on. Of course. What's up? Okay. So just quick rundown, I guess. Um, I'm 23. My boyfriend is 25. Uh, we've been dating for a little over six months now. Um, we're both pretty sure that this is it. We're oh, gross. going really well. <laughs> gross. I love him, How you are you know? already sure? All right. <laughs> I've been married for 21 years and my wife said something the other day and I looked at her and I was like, I don't know you. But if you have it figured out in six months, good for you. Good for you. All right. So, well, so what's know, up? We're giving it time. We're giving it time. But um, You're 22. Yeah, so- 23? How old are you? <laughs> I'm twenty twenty three. Twenty three, it's a big difference. Jenna, how does that how does the Taylor Swift song go? It's twenty two. Twenty two. Yesterday you said it was twenty one. It's twenty one, so whatever. It's a twenty something song. I thought I was getting all confused, Christine. All right. So <laughs> you're twenty three, he's twenty five. Y'all have figured it out. Court. Yeah, you know, no problems ahead of us at all. Um, <laughs> None. None. Okay, so what's up? Um, so it's going great. Family loves him, my friends love him. And I know this like issue doesn't have to do with him, but the issue I've been running into is with my like group of girlfriends that I've had since like childhood. We're like best friends. We do everything together. Um, have, you know, like keep in touch over text call. I see them a lot. Um, but in the last like two months, two of them have like separately and now like together, um, have kind of come up to me and said that they think I'm spending too much time with my boyfriend and that they feel that I'm not prioritizing, prioritizing them as much as I should. (laughs) Hold on. (laughs) All right. Keep going. This is awesome. Keep going. Um, and I can give you background why I know that that's not true. No, because I could, I don't even know any of your background and I know that's not true. And here's why. Okay. (laughs) You, you get to decide what your relational priorities are. Yeah, yeah. And if if you have found the one, like it just makes sense. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'll tell you, you will have some friends that are so freaking excited for you. Yeah. Watching their do. friend yeah. be in love and be gross and silly, and <laughs> I don't want to wait. Like all Dawson's creaked out. Like that's so like yeah. ugh, and awesome. So great. <laughs> And then you're going to have a couple of old friends who Mm -hmm. the way they want their life to go is now disrupted because somebody else has found love and joy and different relationship priorities. Yeah. And instead of looking in the mirror, they start throwing grenades. Yeah. And you're about to experience, if you're not already, what I think was the most heartbreaking thing that I didn't know about, I wasn't prepared for. Actually, the most heartbreaking thing I wasn't prepared for was getting married. But second to that... (laughs) Second to that was, like, I can't put into words the friendships I had as an elementary school kid and as a high school kid. Yeah. Brothers is all I can, is the best. I mean, I'm talking about guys who would lay down in traffic for me and vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. And I was unprepared for turning 23 and 25 and 28 when one guy makes a decision. Like, dude, I'm not hanging out with you. If that's how you're going to roll. When yeah. somebody gets in a bad car wreck and everything shifts and one guy moves away, when I went to grad school, when somebody else gets fired from their job, somebody else gets married, another person gets married, then somebody has a kid, I was unprepared for how lost I was when my brothers started living their own lives. Okay. Yeah. I was really dumbfounded when my bestest best friends in when I was in my 30s when we all started having kids and it was amazing at first. And then one of them turned out to be a Cub Scout dad. (laughs) Then the other one turned into be like a little league dad where he would like doodle little league plays on his work (laughs) pad next to his phone. And then I was like, uh, let's go like on adventures, dad. And they were like, it's hot. We're not going out. So I started realizing, Oh, we're just, we're, this is the part where we shift again. Yeah. And so, You just have to do the hard work with a few people that are going to root for you when things are great for you Mm -hmm. and that will hold you accountable. Now, if they were calling and saying, Hey, we think this guy's not a good guy. Yeah. And that's, yeah, that's not, that's not when you're with him. You are, we see our friend who we love sacrificing her soul to be with this guy. That's a different thing. 
because mm-hmm. they've earned the right to speak into that. But if it's yeah. just like, you should be with us more, uh, <laughs> and they start yeah. singing Avril Lavigne lyrics to you, it's time just to, yeah. as the great Jay-Z said, dust your shoulders off. And I know that sounds callous. Okay, so I threw a lot yeah. at you. What do you think? Yeah, I, yeah, it's hard. I know. Um, I don't know. I guess I just, I think my biggest thing is I just, I feel so guilty about it. And it's gotten to a point where like, if I ever choose hanging out, like going out to dinner with my boyfriend, instead of going out for drinks with my girlfriends, I I feel guilty about it, even though I'm, I'm so joyful when I'm with him and like at peace. I don't know. I, I guess how do I not feel so guilty about it, even though I know I'm I'm doing the right I thing? I mean, I don't I don't think that's the, that, that just takes time. I, I would tell you choose guilt yeah. over resentment every single time. Because if you choose yeah. to not hang out with the person you want to be with, and the person that you have more fun with, and the person that yeah ugh, looks at you and's like you're my girl forever, like all that <laughs> like back of a tailgate country song <laughs> stuff. If you choose to yeah. not be with him to go sit and tell the same high school stories and have the same drinks and the same, oh my gosh, you're going to start yeah. to resent those women. Yeah. You're going to hate yeah, it when I they text you. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. choose guilt over resentment. You love them enough okay. to not l- let them drag you underwater into hate. Yeah. Yeah. The second thing is here's a, a, an important way I've shifted the way I experience guilt in the world, especially when it comes to relationship stuff. Mm-hmm. And this is a hundred percent true across the board. Okay. You can only show up for your friends if you're whole. Yeah. If you're not okay, hanging out with your friends is you are not loving them. Yeah. Right. So yeah. you've got to be whole. And if you yeah. continue, so when I say my boundaries out loud, the things that keep me whole, hey, guys, I don't drink yeah. anymore. Hey, guys, I found out, and it's embarrassing that if I have gluten, I have rocket diarrhea for like five days. <laughs> and so, like, whatever it is, you're going to have all your buddies. They're, gonna, they're supposed to make fun of you. That's their job. Like, oh, this guy can't yeah. eat what, any food. Um, <laughs> and, and that's fine. That's, that's just me being a grown-up and thinking it's funny, and I, they've got their things. But there's always that one friend that's like, are you freaking kidding me? And they'll bring gluten yeah. stuff everywhere and just shove yeah. it on you, right? Or every time yeah. you go to the, oh, you're going to the gym, oh my God, and they just want to shut up. <laughs> At some point, yeah. they are choosing to not be in relationship with me, not the other way around. Yeah. And that's heartbreaking. So the heartbreak yeah. that you're experiencing, I want you to flip it around. You aren't feeling guilty because you have found somebody that you care about and you love and you actually just like hanging out with them more than the other people. Yeah. Which is 100% yeah. normal, by the way. Yeah. In that, in that scenario, yeah. you are the bad guy and you're guilty for choosing A over B. In the other scenario, your friends are choosing to be selfish over watching their friend fall in love and be, have so much joy. They are yeah. choosing to not be in a relationship with you. So instead of those feelings being guilt, those feelings are sadness and heartbreak. Because you thought yeah. you thought those girls loved you more than that. Yeah. And they don't. They love themselves. Those women are about them, not you. Yeah. And that is a heartbreak you got to sit with. That's, that stings, right? Yeah. But they are yeah. opting out of relationship with you. Because they want their picture more than they want your joy and happiness. Yeah. And I hate that for you. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm also glad you found the one. <laughs> <laughs> it makes everything perfect. Um, yeah. <laughs> it so does it. It so does it. Has he farted in front of you yet? Um, I don't know if he has. Actually. Oh, you would know. That means y'all haven't got there yet. Six months in. It's so perfect. Y'all aren't even close, but awesome. But awesome. Yeah. Hey, um, Thanks. You're not broken. There's not something wrong with you. Yeah, I think that helps. I, it's just, I guess it's just kind of new territory for me and figuring out, like, I don't know. I just, I just so enjoy being with him and it feels weird that I prefer that over my friends now. And I don't love, know. love. Yeah. It, <laughs> um, yeah. My friend, George Campbell just had a baby this morning. Are we allowed to announce <laughs> it? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be out there by the time it's out. Yeah. It'll be out <laughs> uh, by the time the show airs. And wow. the message I sent him was, everything in your life just changed. Yeah. Cause he didn't know. Yeah. He didn't know. 
And <laughs> when my buddies like, dude, I think I'm going to ask this girl to marry me. And then they call and they're like, she said yes. And I would always tell yeah. them everything just changed. Yeah. Love makes you realize the things that you thought were important aren't that important. Love helps you yeah. sift through those other relationships and a few will make it through because they will be all about loving you and this new knucklehead you've decided to be with. And if y'all break yeah. up in two months, yeah. those women who were so excited for you will be the ones that come over to your house with nachos and sadness and just sit with you and yeah. light candles and talk bad about them and sprinkle you with essential oils and thieves and whatever. Like they'll do all that yeah. stuff, right? And yeah, the other girls will say, true. I told you so. Yeah. That is kind of accurate, yeah. And you don't want those women in your life. They're opting out. They're opting out. You yeah. are good to go. You're good to go, Christine. I'm proud of you. And I'm I, like, as <laughs> I, I'm such a sucker for a love story. I love it when people fall in love. So I'm really excited for you. That's fun. Even if it doesn't work out long term because you're still basically a child, it's still pretty awesome. And I'm excited for you. I do hate it that your friends are opting out. But – Ugh, I hate to say this. This will be the rest of your life. You'll get a job somewhere that you're excited about and two people will opt out and you'll have two kids and somebody will opt out or you'll choose to have no kids and people will opt out. And I think the great challenge of our life isn't to run around and make sure everybody is okay, that we're making sure that their world is good at our expense. I think it is sitting in that sadness and heartbreak when people choose to opt out of a relationship with us. Because <sighs> that hurts. You're awesome, Christine. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good 80s metal song, but those all ended pretty tragically. So go get it. Go get married. Is there, hey, Jenna, is there, is there a, a Taylor Swift song about young love? I was going to say Dear John, but that was not a good song, right? Sweet Nothing. Sweet Nothing, Christine. Listen to that song. I don't know. Is that, is that good? Sure. Sure. All right. We'll be right back. 